Probably you heard the like in protein docking is a difficult job, isn't it? Absolutely not. In this short video tutorial, we will let you know how to perform the docking with its just few clicks. And in this tutorial, we are going to use an online docking platform, which is a CB dock. The CB dock is going to use the auto dock Vena at its back end. Now, is this tool is reliable? Yes, indeed, this tool is very reliable. Because the finding of this tool is published in one of the nature journals, Acta Formologica Sinica. The research which is published in the nature journals normally is considered to be very authentic. So based on this phenomena, we can say that the CB dock is a very reliable. Now to perform the docking on the CB dock, you just need to click on this dock button. When you will click on this dock button, then you will be on the next page where you need to upload your two files. The one file is a three-dimensional structure of the protein, while the second file is a ligand. So let's upload the three-dimensional structure of the protein by clicking on this browse button and moving to our folder where our three-dimensional file is located. Keep it into mind that the three-dimensional file of the protein is normally in the PDB form. We hope so that now you have a good idea how you can generate the PDB file by your own using the homology based algorithm or the threading algorithm or you can download the PDB file or the three dimensional file of the protein by using the proton protein data bank. Now the second file which you need to upload is a ligand file. And the ligand file should also be in a 3D form. In the next tutorial we will let you know that how you can design the ligand three dimensional structure. So you need to click on this browse button. And then here you can down, you can upload any of the ligand file. Like here, I'm going to upload the ESD1. So our per, uh, ligand structure is also uploaded. In the more parameter file, you can select that how many cavities you want where the docking will be performed. Now we will recommend it to you to go by default with the five. When the ligand and the protein file will be uploaded, then you simply need to click on this submit button. As you can see it here, that the, you can see the docking progress, the one person, the two person, the three person. Normally it's going to take a one to two minutes. When the docking will be completed, then you will be on this page. This page is the result page. Here on this result page, there will be one table like this. And there is going to be the visual representation of the docking of your protein with the ligand. Let's analyze that, what that table is letting you know. This table is letting you know the five best poses of the ligand through which it is bounded with the protein and their energies. You can see it here that there is a first, there's a first pose having energy of minus 9.3. The second pose is going to have energy of minus 8.4. The third pose is going to have energy of minus 7.2 and so on. Which pose is better? Normally, the pose which is going to have a minimum energy is considered to be the good. But keep it into mind that this is not only the criteria to evaluate the docking data. You can see the binding of the ligand with the three-dimensional structure by clicking on this table. So when you will click on this table, you can see it here that this is your ligand. You can see it here that this is the ligand and this is the place where that ligand is bounded with your three-dimensional structure. You can change the style of the protein by moving it here, style receptor. So when you will click on this drop down menu, you can change it from the cartoon to the backbone. Here you can see the backbone of the protein and the ligand which is bounded it here. And you can also see the interactions of the ligand with the receptor, the amino acids which are involved with the binding of the ligand with the receptors. Similarly, you can also change the shape of your receptor from the from the ribbon to the space field. So this is a space field representation. Like the representation of the receptor, you can also change the representation of the ligand by clicking on this style ligand drop down button. So from this one, you can move to the space fill format. So this is a space fill format of the ligand, and you can see it here that how it is bounded with the protein. Clicking this on this table will this uh, result the disappearance of the ligand the first pose of the ligand and when you will click on the second row of the table so then this is a second pose 
through which the ligand can potentially bind with the protein receptor. Now, similarly, when you will click on the third row, so this is going to be the third pose where potentially the ligand can bind. Now, you, it's you who are actually going to evaluate that which pose is the best for you. As I told you earlier, the one criteria to choose the best pose is a minimum energy. But there are the number of other parameters as well. For example, the amino acid residues which are involved in the ligand binding. The domain where the normally the ligand should bind. And all of that information is coming from the literature review. So you should have an idea about what type of the amino acids which are normally involved in the binding, what is the normal place of the ligand, and then uh, keeping all of that information in mind, you are actually going to choose that which binding pose is the most appropriate for you. You can download your results by clicking here on this download all button. When you will click on this download all button, so your results will be downloaded in your system which you will later on use to visualize your ligand, bind, ligand and the protein binding on your local, in your local machine using a pie mole and the leak plot. In the next tutorial, we will let you know that how you can design the three-dimensional structure of your ligand and how you can visualize the ligand and the binding interaction in the pie mole and the leak plot and how you can evaluate which one is the best pose for the binding. Thanks for watching this tutorial. See you next time.